welcome to Incredible Techniques. My name is Megan Justice and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card. This is from Best Birds stamp set, which I'll show you right here. And I am going to change this card up a little bit today. I've gone ahead and done a few steps just to save some time. Um, one of the, the card base we're using today is Dapper Denim. Now this is a retiring color. Um, you have until May 31st while supplies last. And this is a piece of very vanilla. And I've already stamped and started to color my images. I used the branch here and I've got my bird. Now there are framelits for this as well. So when I went to look for my framelits to cut these out, I didn't have them. But that's okay. If you don't have the framelits, you can what we call fussy cut. I have my uh, snips, uh, Stampin' Up! snips here. And they, they are really sharp and they work great. So I've gone ahead and already stamped and colored my leaf here. And Now in this example, I used Pool Party for this blue. But I decided for this bird, this time, I wanted to try a little bit different color. And so I've gone ahead, I'm using blender pen today, and um, it, this blue can be a little bit dark, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start maybe in the center. I am doing circular motions. Now you're going to have to play around with this a bit and figure out what method you like. Some people like going in straight lines. I'll probably switch it up a bit too, like, like when I'm going around the edges here. Um, go in a straight line. But one of the reasons why I like the circular motion is just because when I'm working with a color that I was afraid might be too dark, I just somehow feel like the color spreads a little bit better. Um, but again, it's just a little bit of trial and error and finding out what works for you. Um, if you don't have a blender pen, you could certainly do this on um, watercolor paper and use your aqua painter or you could use colored pencils or the Stampin' Blends if you have those. I don't want to spend too much time on the coloring part because I don't want you guys to get too bored watching me color. And I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and close them up and I'm done with my bird. Now I have a piece of scrap paper here. When you go to clean your blender pens you want to kind of go across to the side and rotate your your um, pen around. You don't want to just do like this. That will damage the tip and the brush. So you just want to go to side to side kind of around the barrel of the pen. So we're done with that. Now for my uh, outside panel here, I'm going to show you how to do this mark. Now I've already cut what we call a mask. I took a, a circle from the layering circles set and I just cut it out of a piece of scrap paper and I'm just going to lay that on top of my card front panel and I'm using this uh, textured stamp. It's the one that has the lines through it. That's the one I'm using right now and I'm probably going to stamp off just a little bit because I don't know if I want it too dark but I'll just go ahead and stamp. Hopefully you can see that really well. Okay, and I've done that in crumb cake. Next, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. Now, in this one, I used um, the thoughts for you sentiment, but in this one, I'm going to do happy birthday, and I'm going to stamp the sentiment in a soft suede. Okay, done with that. Next, um, I'm going to show you how, if you see where I used this copper trim and how I poked holes there. I'm going to show you how I did that. So I just, using my grid paper, if you don't have grid paper, you can just use a ruler. And I just took a, actually I'm going to do this on the back side. I'm lining my paper up with the grid marks and then I'm just putting in a mark at the quarter inch spot. And this is just, I'm going to punch a little spot here and this just helps me guide the punch. And then I'm going to take this punch so you'll see where this has a little bit of a rounded edge. And what I'm going to do is just go in. Now you want to make sure you're not getting too close to the edge here. So I'm going to make sure that that little line that I drew is kind of over to the, to the edge, 
to this edge of the punch and I'm just going to punch this little notch out. So on this one I want to punch closer to this edge. Okay? That's all. If you don't have this, you might be able to try a hole punch. You just wouldn't want to run it all the way through. And you don't have to do this either. I just like the way it, it catches the trim. So then I'm going to take a piece of this copper trim and I'm just going to kind of figure out how much I need to cut off to be able, it doesn't need to be able to completely cover, it only needs to be able to completely cover one side, it doesn't have to go both, but you want enough to where your glue dots will stick to the back. And I'm just going to put a glue dot on each end of this trim. Then I'm just going to carefully wrap this behind, press it down, so now you got your little piece of trim. Next. This is this copper trim has these little tiny threads and you probably can't see it on camera but they you can pull it apart it almost looks like netting when you pull it apart and you don't have to do this either if you prefer not to do this and just leave it like it is that looks fine too I just like the little extra texture it kind of gives the card so let's go ahead and adhere this to the base of our card Then next, I'm going to take a tree branch here. These are the mini dimensionals, and I'm going to just place some mini dimensionals on the back. I'm going to peel the paper backings off. Now I'm just going to place my branch wherever I want it. So we're just going to put some dimensionals on the back of this bird. And then I'm just going to place him to look like he's kind of standing on that limb. So what I did, if you see, this has kind of like the speckled image at the top, or on the front of it. Because uh, I thought this one, it's cute, but it's a little plain. I felt like it needed a little something. So for this, I took my crumb cake marker, and I took the, the brush tip end, and you're just going to take the lid and the, and the tip of the brush and just do what we call a flick. So you can just do some light flicks. It's, it is going to splatter, so make sure you have your work area protected that you don't get ink on something that you really don't want ink on. So, there you go. You have your finished card. Well, this is the finished card front. Now, in this one, I'll show you. I um, went ahead. This one was a sympathy card, actually, so I went ahead and um, stamped a leaf on the bottom inside panel and my sentiment there and then I also stamped the envelope. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel please do so so that you don't miss out on any of the other tutorials that I offer. Once you hit subscribe you can hit the bell next to it and you'll get email notifications of when I post a new video. Um, if you have any tutorials or stamp sets that you would like to see demonstrated, please leave me a comment and I will be happy to look into doing a tutorial for you in the future. And other than that, you guys have an incredible day. Thanks for watching.